Hey Pisces, so as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be the September 2022 reading for all Pisces, okay? So Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node, it really doesn't matter, love. If you in any way at all identify as a Pisces, then this reading is for you, okay? Pisces, let's go ahead and get into this reading, my love. Let us see what the messages are that Spirit has for you. Let us see, let us see, Pisces, thank you, Spirit, September 2022, okay, hostilities, okay, so dealing with hostilities, um, this can be something that's going on within yourself or something that is coming from another being directed towards you, okay, um, it feels like you're just not familiar with this energy, you don't know how to process it, okay you don't know how to process it i'm also hearing too and feeling like maybe some of you have some emotions stirring up within yourself you've never felt before and you don't know how to process those feelings maybe that's making you hostile okay there's some energy that possibly needs to be released okay um and it's, it's turning into this hostile type of energy because you know it's asking you to release it to let it go okay we have the garden and the gate i feel like there may be some stubbornness okay um once again this can be you or how someone is directing this energy towards you okay it feels like whatever this this uh hostile energy is you know whatever this feeling is that someone has they're holding on to it they're being being very much so stubborn they're like no it's my way that's it this is the way it is this is how i feel because that's what it is you can't tell me nothing different you go you know very stubborn okay um it's like holding a grudge holding a grudge for whatever reason okay we have attachment yeah so i feel like something is weighing you down something is weighing you down here okay and what it is is holding on to these feelings you know refusing to let them go uh, maybe you're trying to force a person to see a situation from your side or force a person to understand your point of view and they're not you get what i'm saying and i feel like you holding on to your feelings about this instead of just letting it go like let go let god type energy is weighing you down okay with this attachment okay like look at this woman it's like the color is being sucked up out of her, her you know because she's giving her energy to this situation okay it's, it's weighing them down so even if what you feel is facts even if what you say is so let it go so that you can be in a healthy space okay so with this yin yang energy i feel like that's what what's coming in okay it's like the color comes back the energy comes back the power comes back to you because you take your power back by no longer giving your energy to this situation you know it's like if that's how it is then that's how it is and you just move on with yourself in your life right broken heart is the underlying energy here yeah so it's like you're allowing this this uh this sadness to reside within your spirit way longer than it's meant to is what spirit is saying you know go through the emotions heal yourself you know but begin the healing nobody's saying you have to rush it or you, you know you can't feel how you feel but actually go into the healing instead of allowing it to sit as anger and you get what i'm saying be something that's destructive to you okay so yeah we have the seven of hearts here um some of you are going to be moving in september 2022 or going to at least start getting things in order to move okay the place that you're moving to is going to be uh way better or you know uh feel better look better be better priced or something as far as payments go or whatever than where you are right now okay better surrounding area something along those lines in some way shape from a fashion is going to be better okay we have the nine of diamonds here okay coming out so i feel like you're going to be happy okay there's happiness there's excitement there's love that wants to come in place of this broken heart energy okay and then we have here the seven of spades okay so definitely um a separation or some sort of domestic situation that may be coming to an end with this energy okay but yeah and i'm speaking to divine feminines okay or you know someone out there who's in this situation divine feminine energy you're the divine feminine in your situation okay so let us see pisces what's going on Pisces. 
Pisces. All right. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Two cards flipped out. The Fool card, okay, as a situation, taking steps towards your new beginning, okay, and then the Moon, all right. So, I feel like some of you could be dealing with a Cancer, okay. You could be with the Two of Wands choosing between a Cancer and someone else, okay. Don't know who's that that's for, but we have the Fool card and the Moon card, okay. So, you taking steps towards your brand new beginning here, but I feel like you're doing so in secret, Okay. Or whatever it is that you're doing, you're keeping it to yourself. You're not letting people know what you're doing, okay? What moves you're making, okay? Like I said, if this month you're looking into a place, you're not telling this person you're looking into a place. You're just doing what you're doing because <laughs> that's what you want to do. You know, you don't feel like you need anybody's approval. You don't need to tell anybody. You're just doing it, okay? Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles in the challenge position, definitely working on getting up out of wherever you're at, okay? Working towards something better, um, building your life, rebuilding yourself, rebuilding your life with the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like as you do so, you feel like it's difficult, like I said. But the energy that's coming through, you know, is not that you're not capable. Because with the Three of Pentacles, you're more than capable. But it's because you're allowing this feeling to stay inside of you too long. Like I said, you don't have to rush your healing process. But you shouldn't allow the anger and the frustration to just sit either. You have to start the healing process is what spirit is saying okay so it's not necessarily the work you're doing is for nothing you just have this heavy feeling weighing you down as you're doing it okay so we have the five of swords here as what's to come i feel like you're going to have victory with the things that like i said you feel aren't working with this eight of pentacles in a challenge position they are working okay here's the king of cups you can trust your your intuition you can trust what it is that you feel and what you know to be so what you think will work in order to help you with what you want to do because the five of swords we know that it's going to work but you know like i said fool card the moon you keeping the things that you're doing your movements like that to yourself not really um telling anybody what it is okay and then we have the emperor here as your focus so yeah you guys are working really really hard okay that's the only thing that's really on your mind if you feel sometimes like it's hard for you to get up and get to it even though you're doing it it's just hard for you to do it it's hard for you to want to do it it's because of this heavy attachment that's weighing you down okay so i feel like really that's just what we're gathering from this reading so we're not going to do any clarifiers the knight of wands is the final outcome okay like i said because this is your focus eventually your mind is going to take the the upper hand over your emotions okay as you allow yourself to heal gradually you know take your time with that you're going to be putting the action in in other areas of your life with whatever this is that you're working on or building up okay that may be that balance so it's like you're going to be healing but while you're healing you're going to be working at the same time okay we have the lovers card here okay also as the second outcome card i feel like from you letting go and letting god the situation falls into place organically it falls into place on its own okay so that's what I was going to say earlier too. Even if there is a, a separa uh, separation or a temporary separation on the horizon for you, um, it's not something that's going to be forever, okay? Like when you and this person or you and whomever are meant to come together, you will. But as of right now, it's like you're just focused on building yourself up, building your, the life up that you want, okay? If things are not going the way that you want them to go, you feel like you shouldn't have to fight to get somebody to understand that so if you just have to secretly make moves in order to see them type of results then that's what you want to do so yeah put your attention and your focus elsewhere like i said call your power back to you this situation will come back when it's meant to and then we have the knight of pentacles as the final outcome card okay so like i said gradually slowly but surely getting things done so it's like on one end you know when it comes to work you're going to be putting your energy there when it comes to this healing and whatever you need to process from that situation you're going to be taking your time and that's fine that's balance underlying the energy once again three of swords so somebody is definitely going through a lot of heartache a lot of sadness here okay um i feel like there's been some things that have possibly been going on when it comes to family or uh situations like that okay with your loved ones okay um but all of that is going to be taking um it's time getting healed okay so you don't have to worry about that what's meant to be in your life will be in your life okay who's meant to be a part of it will be a part of it don't be afraid okay let's pull a moonology card here for you because we have that full moon coming up on the 9th 
full moon in Pisces. Okay, so let us see. We have bring love into this situation. Okay, bring love into this situation and your commitment is being tested. Underlying the energy here is a win-win outcome is forecast. So like I said, you will win. There will be balance. Okay, Libra energy here. Okay, there will be balance. Okay, so if this was your message or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and heavy.